When talking about protecting and co-creating and being compassionate and generous and celebrating, who are we doing that with? Who are we protecting? Who are we co-creating with? Who are we being generous to? Who are we celebrating with? Who are we being compassionate to? Well, we, we can start uh, with our loved ones. Uh, we find it uh, rather natural to protect our family, our children, our parents. We protect the loved ones, the ones that we love, either because they are family or because they have become our loved ones. And then uh, there's a circle of people we are very close to and, and we find very natural to protect them to be generous to them. And we can extend that to our communities. We have so many communities we belong to. There's the community we live in, our neighborhood, our city, our country. There are work communities, co-workers, people we share a profession or a skill or a with and a teacher all the teachers are my community there are communities of shared political beliefs religious beliefs even communities of people who share the sports fine hoods and all those communities can be the focus of our protection our generosity And this community, we start extending by the place we live in, by the shared interest. Uh, pretty soon, we're talking about uh, all of humanity, perhaps. But before we get there, we can also have community with other beings. These birds that are flying around here, these butterflies are my community too. I can protect them. I can be generous to them and compassionate. I can celebrate with the birds when they sing. I can sing too. And yes, ultimately the universe is our community. The universe deserves our protection. The universe is there for us to create with. The universe needs our compassion, our generosity, our celebration. <laughs>